Hey all welcome back to the Fire and Water Cooking Channel. I'm Darren, and today I'm going to actually make some barbecue sous vide pork bites. They're not really called burn ends. I can't call them burn ends because I'm not going to make them uh, into burn ends. And also, they're coming from the pork loin. So, but I'm going to show you how you can do this. I got a potluck we're going to tonight, and I'm going to make these up real quick. And I'm going to show you how we're going to do it, and I'll be right back. All right, all like I said, these aren't really going to be burnt ends, or just gonna, because I'm not making them out of pork butt or pork belly. Um, they're just going to be nice tender chunks of pork loin that I'm going to cut into bite-sized chunks. Well, what we're going to do first before I cut them into bite-sized chunks, I'm actually going to take. I got this pork loin that got cut in half that I bought at the supermarket a couple weeks ago, and it's already been thawed out. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it into some smaller strips. And the reason I'm going to do this is because I want to have more surface area to uh, put some of this rub on and the seasoning. So I'm going to keep them lengthwise just fine for now. And I'm not going to cut them long ways yet. But I'm just going to have them just like this. About you know two and a half inches um, long here and just keep them like this. And I'm just going to go ahead and lay them on my pan. And like I said, the reason we're going to do it this way is because I want to be able to have more surface area to cover with the uh, seasoning. So I'm going to go ahead and cut these up, get them on the pan, and season them up. And I'll all right, be guys. Right back. What I'm going to do now, I got them all laid out here, and um, I'm not going to put any kind of binder on it because this meat's tacky enough. It's going to hold the rub. And we're putting it in the bag anyway for sous vide, so we're going to put a little bit more seasoning on it after it comes out. But what I'm using today is the Running Wilds Peach Rub, and that's what we're going to season them with before we put them in the bag. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to sous vide these for about three and a half hours at 148. And I'm doing that because I want to get these tender. I want it to tenderize. So I'm going to go ahead and get as much of this rub, um, as many sides of this as I can. Just like that. Just a nice even coat. So I'm not too worried about it because we are putting this in the sous vide bag. And it will kind of spread out from there. the uh, pork out of the sous vide it's been in there right at three hours got my grill going heating up pretty good on the camp chef and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these um, strips here and I'm gonna cut them up again but what I'm gonna do I'm gonna season them one more time before I do that um, I'm not gonna season uh, with any kind of more rub after this I'm just gonna cut them up um, after I grill them so I'm going to season them just a little bit more before we throw them on the grill. And then when we come back, we're not going to grill them too much because they're already cooked. We're just going to get some color to it. So I got the grill cranked up pretty high. I don't uh, care about getting much smoke to them. I just want to get that um, grill flavor to them. You know, I want to get it a little crusty, a little crispy and crunchy. And then we're going to take them off the grill and we're going to cut them up into bite-sized chunks. We're going to toss them in the um, we're going to toss them in the uh, slow cooker and toss some sauce on it. So, all right, guys, I'm getting.
get done on the grill, which should be a couple of minutes. I'm going to make a real easy sauce here. It's going to be a little different. And that's kind of a mixture of a few sauces. I'm going to make some sweet baby rays, honey barbecue sauce. I'm going to take about a quarter cup of that or so, maybe about a half a cup. That's going to be my base. And this is going to be uh, what the uh, pork sits in when it's sitting in the crock pot. I'm going to take some of the uh, Frank's Red Hot Sweet Chili Sauce. Um, take a few tablespoons of that. Probably about a quarter of a cup. That gives a little kick. And just some regular teriyaki sauce. It's going to kind of water it down a little bit. I don't want this too thick. I just kind of want it a little sticky, but not too thick. I'm just going to mix that up. That's what we're going to toss the pork in. When it's sitting in the crock pot. Give that a taste. Mmm. Pretty good. I'm going to give it just a little bit more of this sweet chili sauce. I like this sweet chili sauce. You'll probably see me using this in some recipes a lot because it's really good. And that's it, guys. That's what we're going to toss the pork in when it sits in the crock pot. So, all right. Let me go get it, it off the grill. grill and back. here's what we got. Um, just these nice little uh, things of pork. And what I'm going to do... So I'm actually just going to cut them up and toss them right in the uh, crock pot. So if you see here, they're about, like I said, two inches wide here and yeah, about six inches long. So I'm just going to cut it right in half and then just chop it into about one inch cubes here. Just like that. Just make these little cubes. It's kind of like going to look like, you know, bird in size cubes, but... Um, I'm going to go ahead and dip this one in the sauce and give it a taste because I'm not going to have time to do a whole lot with this before we head off to our potluck here. So, all right, guys, I'm going to give this a try. Mm. It's real tender. Bite right through it. Taste that peach rub. Got the smoke to it from the tart from the uh, camp chef. That sauce works really good. I know it's a cheap way to, you know, make a sauce, but um, sometimes that's what you got to do. Instead of making a whole sauce from scratch, just make, mix a couple of different ones, get a different different flavor profiles together. It works out great. It's perfect. It's nice and tender, juicy, smoky. Got a little bit of a kick from that spicy uh, or that sweet chili sauce. Mm. give it a try guys thanks for watching make sure you follow us on facebook and twitter instagram please like this video and subscribe thanks again i'll see you in the next video